right, so we are in the process of collecting leaves and we're using our John Deere X738 with the bagger attachment to hopefully uh, take care of any raking. Uh, I've raked here for 11 years, or 10 years I guess. This will be the 11th year and uh, hoping the, uh, the bagger does the trick. We'll find out. them again but this is way quicker than raking leaves especially when you got these ridiculous maple trees like a little roll that kind of blows past and you kind of have to go back and catch that. I think if you're blowing it the right way though, you probably wouldn't have that issue, but get a younger operator here running the machine. The more I look at this, I'm just like, what is going on that we're getting these rows here that leaves aren't being picked up? She didn't have the deck down. She had the deck in the highest position, so that's why we weren't picking as much up. So now we got the deck down. I think it's set at like three and a, three and a half. Now we're doing a much better job picking stuff up over here. So we'll probably have to go uh, back over this whole works again So you can see this here is where she has the deck down. There's absolutely like zero rows Whereas over here we got All sorts of rows. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I should have once I I saw that the uh, the guide wheels on the deck Looked like they were raised all the way. I knew exactly what the problem was So we finished up. Uh, that is a huge time saver. We'd be raking all weekend and it wouldn't look this good. So that makes extremely short work. Now, I, a couple things to note. Um, the blades on the machine are absolutely destroyed. I hit some huge rocks when I was cutting at the plant. So that could be an issue as well. All right, so this is a huge time saver. It would have took all weekend and it wouldn't look anywhere near as nice as what it 
what it does now. Also, the blades on the mower are destroyed. There's one blade that there's nothing left. I hit a, a huge rock when I was cutting down at the plant, so the the, the uh, blades are pretty bad. And then in the backyard here, I just hit the neighbor has a tree root that is sticking up, and I just leveled that flat with the ground. So. I'm gonna need another set of blades for sure. They can't even be sharpened, there's nothing left. But yeah, it makes definitely short work of collecting leaves here. And well, that was part of the issue too with the, the blades. Going through those big maple leaves, they don't chop them up if the blades are all absolutely destroyed. So that was part of the issue too where we had it, it ended up clogging on us and going too fast, but if the uh, blades were sharp, it would mulch the leaves up. You can see some of these leaves are pretty big. But usually uh, when the blades are sharp, it mulches everything up real nice. And it's just a standard blade. It's not a mulching blade or anything like that. So we can get a tarp on this and then uh, dispose of the leaves. And like I said, this is a way, way nicer process here. It just absolutely does a flawless job. So it was well worth the uh, investment for the, the time savings, that's for sure. So there you go, that's gonna be your X738 with the beggar system.